everyone, Amy Love here, and I wanted to pop on to share with you some DIY gift ideas that I am uh, creating this year. I have decided to make some of the lovely women in my life little um, self-care packages. And so one of the items I decided to make were these bath tea bags. Look at these. They are so cute, and they're so easy to make, and I just think that is a really lovely gift. So let me show you um, how to create them. Okay, so for the mixture, we are gonna start with some pink Himalayan salt, which is a powerful detoxifier in, in a bath soak. So we have probably about a cup in this thing. So we're gonna have a cup of that. Then we are going to use a cup of Epsom salt which reduces stress and draws out toxins and also uh, relieves muscle soreness. So I can get a cup, not as easy, not as easy as you might think. Okay, cup of Epsom salt. I'm gonna use a half a cup of baking soda which is cleansing and detoxifying. And it also makes your skin feel so soft. Okay, so we've got the baking soda and the Epsom salt and the pink salt. Now for mine, I am gonna use um, rose buds. Really, you can use any herbs you want this um, We'll get it in the camera. Anyway, I got this giant bag of organic uh, food grade rosebuds on Amazon, and I will have a link to um, this one that I bought below. And I am just loving, loving it. So we are going to add a cup of this. So I guess you can use any herbs you want. I'm just doing rose theme for um, my gifts this year, so. It was like a heaping cupful. <laughs> All right. Now I am gonna whisk this together to break up any of the baking soda lumps, or try to. But I'm most likely gonna have to get in there with my hand. Now I like to use gloves when I do that. Now the rose petals, because they're lighter, they like to sit on top. So we just wanna make sure that they get good and mixed in before we fill our tea bags. I'm gonna get the lumps broke up here. Mm, look at how beautiful. How beautiful. All right, so now we are gonna fill our tea bags and I got these um, tea bags on Amazon and I will have a link to them below. And they open at one end. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna try a quarter cup. So what you wanna do is you don't want to make it too full because you're going to iron this shut. It has a, a seal at the top, so you'll iron it closed. So let me try a quarter of a cup. All right. Oh, I think that's about perfect. Okay, so now let me scooch everything over, and I'll show you how easy this is to close up. This smells so amazing, by the way. As I'm sure you can imagine. So we just make sure there's none of the, the bath tea in the way of this closure. And I've got my iron set at the cotton setting and then I am just going to seal it. Just like that. And make sure it's sealed. And it is. How cute is this? And now all you got to do is pop this into a bath and soak up all the healing um, benefits, which the rose has anti-inflammatory benefits and promotes feelings of peace and calm. So, <gasps> love this, I can't wait to try. So let me show you how I'm gonna package it up. So I decided to use a satin ribbon, but of course you could use anything, um, all kinds of different fibers and or seam binding would be so pretty. 
and I used about 38 inches of ribbon um, to package up my tea bags. So I'm just going to tie it um, around long ways and then I'm going to turn the ribbon and kind of make it like a little a little ribbon holder <laughs> to keep my little tea bags together so they won't come out in the little gift box. And I do like to slip the uh, ribbon underneath itself before I tie the bow, just so it's stuck in, in the middle of my tea bag set and the bow won't um, slide around. So now I'm just gonna tie a bow and then I will stick a tag on it and it is ready for gifting. So I didn't go into how I made the tags. I literally just used um, some punches I had and I pulled little paper out of my scrap bin and created the little rose bath tea bags and then uh, drop one into a hot bath and enjoy. So I just attached that to the ribbon with a bulb pin. And I did wanna mention, cause I am making a gift set uh, for my mom and my mom um, has a, has a strong reaction to a lot of different scents and they tend to give her migraines so I am making an unscented basket for my mom so you can just create this exact same um, concoction and leave out the rose and then you've got the Epsom salt and the Himalayan oh. pink salt and the baking soda which would be a great healing and relaxing bath tea. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for the other things that I'll be making to go in my basket. I'll be sharing those on future videos. I hope you're all doing well. Bye everybody!